I have to be quick. Hi, welcome back to Real Opinions. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a proper quick one this time because it's the Cloverfield Paradox. This was announced in the middle of the Super Bowl by an advert saying, you know, the, f- the entire film is just going to be released the moment the game ends. At the time, I saw it as a great extension of the marketing campaign that really formed a lot of my interest for Cloverfield and subsequently 10 Cloverfield Lane. However, now I, like many others, have discovered that it's not just for the marketing reason, it's also because it means that no critics can see it before the film comes out, because this film's not good. It's a not good film. Uh, The Cloverfield Paradox, it is about uh, the world is slowly running out of energy, which is causing a lot of tension between countries, and uh, in order to stop this, they've sent a team of individual scientists from six different nations uh, up into space with a version of the CERN Super Collider in order to basically create a device that will give perpetual energy, and they have to do it in space because it's too dangerous to do it on Earth. They set it up all up and running, and then uh, something weird happens with it. If you are a Cloverfield fan, uh, like a fan of the series, You've probably already watched it, fine. But if not, for some reason, uh, my point is, if you're looking for a good film, this isn't it. Uh, If you're looking for more answers to fill out your fan theories, then this is good for you. The thing that it does best is it manages to fill in plot points between the first Cloverfield film and 10th Cloverfield Lane, which I didn't think was necessary, but, you know, a lot of people online like when stuff connects, and so... If that's the kind of thing that you're interested in and you just want answers as opposed to a story or a good film, then this is something for you. And you've probably already seen it, like I already said. If not, yeah, don't watch it. It's just not not a good film. The first 15 minutes are entirely exposition. That's it. There are seven characters in total in the film. There are six that go up onto the spaceship and there is one that has his own subplot on Earth and it is the biggest non-plot subplot that I can remember. It's about 10 minutes and he does nothing except for hint that Cloverfield is happening. Like, that's it. He is, actually doesn't do anything. It just hints at, you know, the stuff that comes with a Cloverfield film. On the other hand, the six characters in the spaceship have no character whatsoever. They are just idiots. The main character, I will grant you, has a backstory, but that's very different to having a character. She just has a backstory. And those six characters as well, they have stereotypes, which again, different from character. The Irish guy drinks, and he is funny. Haha, <laughs> great. The Russian guy is angry. The German guy is very precise. Uh, the Chinese person likes numbers and maths and science. The bits where it tries to be heartwarming, it's not. The bits where it tries to be scary, uh, it's laughable. The, the first scary bit, I suppose, is this guy, is the Russian guy going to um, the mirror and his eyes start going weird and I was, I found it very funny. It wasn't scary at all because it had all the, the, the like, the string music building. You could tell that people, they thought, oh, people are going to get really creeped out by this and it's not at all. And the plot is completely scatterbrained. It just, things have no, there's no cause and effect in a logical sense. There is the, um, weird stuff is happening because this thing happened. But if you look any further than that, it just, it, there's no way to connect A to B to C. It's just a collection of things that happen. None of them are very scary. None of them are very effective. There was one moment later in the film where I thought that they were going to go for a scare that genuinely would have affected me, kind of involving air pressure and space. I thought that it was leading up to it, and so I was prepared to kind of almost look away from the screen. And then it just didn't happen. They just kind of went for the easy way out of it. I know I said I wasn't prepared to not look at it, but that's what I kind of want from a horror film. I want to have something that affects me that much. I want to have something that's so grisly that I don't really want to experience it. The reasoning for that point is that even the moments where I think it had a nugget of an idea, it just squandered it. Every aspect of it let it down. The actors are very wooden, the direction is bland and doesn't help any of the actors, and the writing, dear Christ, the writing. Uh, like I said, the first 15 minutes were all exposition. That, the first five minutes in particular, it's just a scene in a car, and Jesus, it, you'd, you'd think that this person's never talked to a human before. It's just, it's just exposition. It's, it's pure, pure exposition. People don't talk to each other like they are people. They are just stupid plot devices the entire film. 
it kind of does, tries to do the alien thing. It doesn't do it well. There is a lot of films that you can say that it takes things from. None of them it does well. It's just, it's such a non-film. I had to wait 24 hours before I could, uh, I could actually get to a microphone to record this and still like, I'm really struggling to remember a lot of the aspects of this film. It's so immemorable. It's just not interesting whatsoever. And it definitely went to Netflix because that is a way that they can, the Paramount can confirm that they've made back enough money to make it profitable now. Whereas if you put it into theatres and it sucked, I don't think that it would get as nearly as much money back because the deal for Netflix was $50 million for this film. So it's made back its production money already just by selling to Netflix. It's just a modern version of a direct-to-DVD sequel, really. And it's, it's, not, it's not even a good one of those. This has been Real Opinions. I didn't like this film. It's bad.